Amen. While we sing, blind eyes will open. Deaf ears will open. Jesus will be glorified. Give you praise, mighty God, no one can be compared to you. We lift up your name on high, blessed be your name forever. In the name of Jesus. There's a lady, Pauline, when you hear me say there's someone, I'm not talking about one person, even if it's one billion people, God will heal them. There's a lady with lump in your right breast. Press it, that lump is gone in Jesus' name. There's another lady, your breast is bringing out milk. You are not breastfeeding. Galatoria, you are healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone, you're deaf, your left ear. You were born deaf. You were born deaf in the left ear. Close the right. You physically will hear for the first time with your left. That deaf ear is open in Jesus' name. Every stamina is healed in the name of Jesus. Every born stamina, for the first time speak, you will not stammer. You'll be shocked. Speak, you will not stammer in the name of Jesus. I vow never to take your glory, mighty God. There's a visitor, you have pain. Look at my hand. This place, your spine. They've told you correct with surgery. Now for the first time, bend and touch your toe, there will be no pain. You couldn't do that for long. They say you correct it with surgery. Now bend and touch your toe, no single pain. You are healed in the name of Jesus. There is someone with arthritis. You are healed in the name of Jesus. At all. There is somebody healed of toothache in Jesus' name. There is somebody healed of your chest. Before you came, your chest was tight. Do like this, no pain. Move your chest, no pain. Move it again, no pain. Move again, you are healed. In Jesus' name. There is a child rough with asthma. That child is healed in Jesus' name. You are glued. There's a lady, you are bleeding, not messes, abnormal bleeding. Go to the confidence, check yourself, you have dried up in Jesus' name. There's another woman who is pregnant, you are spotting with the pregnancy. You are healed also in Jesus' name. Miracles are happening. There's somebody, a footballer, you had problem with your knee. A young man in your 20s, you had problem with your knee. Move the knee now this way, move it again, move it again. You're healed. That's true. For you are glorious, mighty God. For you are glorious. Turn your neck, no pain. Turn again, no pain. 
Somebody watching from the United States, this service. You are part of this service from the United States. You have had this severe, terrible chest pain. You are healed in Jesus' name. When God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Father, I vow never to take your glory. Hold it. There are somebody with a blocked nostrils. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Miracles are happening. There are somebody whose hand was shaking with tremor. You are healed in Jesus' name. You are glorious. There's a strange sickness that somebody came here with. You are coming here for the first time. Every point. Look at my hand. This point, this point, this point has been paining you. You've gone to hospital. They couldn't find anything. You can't make your hand like this without pain. You can't move your legs without pain. Now for the first time, move your hand to your back. Move your legs. There will be no single pain. You are healed. You are coming to this church for the very first time. You are healed. There's somebody else I'm talking. Healed of hemorrhoid. What you call file in the name of Jesus. Father, I vow never to take your glory. Sing it choir. For you are glorious. In the name of Jesus, there's someone with a tooth problem. You have physical hole. Now take your hand, put there. You'll be surprised the hole is filled. You are shocked. You had hole under the teeth. Now it's filled supernaturally. Your tooth, they just put your hand. There was there was hole. You have done a, a filling before from a dentist. It opened again. Now it's filled miraculously. You are healed in Jesus' name. Somebody with a gum problem is also healed in the name of Jesus. Every woman with a mass in your body, press it, that mass is gone in the name of Jesus. I vow, oh God, never to take your glory. And Jesus, amen, your eyelid shakes. Even as your church, it was shaking. You are healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I raised my voice to say. The miracle belongs to you, but the testimony belongs to God. Don't share it with me. I'm not the healer. I don't heal anybody. I don't have power to heal. He is the healer. I will never take his glory. I don't heal nobody. And I know as I know my name that miracles have happened everywhere in the world. I don't doubt it. I've seen enough miracles to doubt God. Everyone God has healed, even if today's your first day. Give the glory to the one who healed you. Rush to the right. There are medical doctors that will hear you. Rush to the right and left of all our churches. In five minutes, we'll be done and then we'll hear God's word. To prove that I'm not a healer, rush to the right, to the left, and come and tell God what he has done for you. To the right, to the left, somebody's pain is gone as I'm talking in Jesus' name. Whether I call your sickness or not, put your hand on your body. In the name of Jesus the Christ, I command every disease. In Jesus' name, I rebuke every sickness and I command blind eyes open in the name of Jesus, deaf ears open in Jesus' name, top tongues loose in the name of Jesus, be healed of every sickness, diabetes go, high blood pressure go in the name of Jesus. I command pains to go in Jesus' mighty name. Come to the right front. There are doctors who will hear you and take your testimony. We don't take testimonies in two, three minutes and then we'll hear God's word. God is so good. Somebody with a walking aid, drop it and walk. You will walk for the first time in Jesus' name. Move out of that wheelchair. Get up and walk in Jesus' name. That you are mighty. That you are mighty. Lift up your name. For you are so Yes, Dr. 
doctor, what is it? Pastor. Yes. God has done something very wonderful. Church, you may be seated. He is a teenager. Yes. And since birth, yes. he has been completely blind in the left eye. You've been blind in the left eye since birth? Yes. You don't see with your left eye? Yes. Can you sit down? But pastor, his eyes are open now. He can Will you see give Jesus a hand? You are clapping for the king of this young boy. Can you see now? Hold it. Close your right eye. Close the one you see with before. Can you see me? Oh, close it. Close it. Look at me. Can you see something? Yes. Touch anybody around you. Any human being around you. Touch the person. Touch another person. Touch any other person. Walk. Go away. Walk. Walk. Close that one. Close it very well. Close it. The way somebody will not see. And now you are your own. Walk with one eye and touch anybody. It was born blind. You are giving Jesus a hand. <laughs> Come, young boy. Are your parents here? Who knows you? Anybody knows you here? Nobody knows you here? It was born blind in that eye. Come closer. Which class are you? SS1. SS1. So you'll be reading with only one eye, Father. Miracle is happening somewhere. A miracle is happening somewhere. A miracle is happening somewhere. Hallelujah. Father, a miracle is happening. Someone has dropped questions somewhere. Miracle is happening. Miracle is happening. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. said in June he had an accident and he had an orthopedic surgery an orthopedic surgery on the left leg but right in this service he has dropped his crutches he can walk on it for the first time since June will you give Jesus a shout of praise young man you couldn't fall that leg I've seen you fall it yes, you couldn't I, fall it before I could not walk into this you couldn't walk with it at yes. all at all now move with it but move your leg do like this Will you give Jesus a shout of praise? Hallelujah. Father, you can see if the leg is slimmer and small. Look at it, it's smaller than the other one. Father, recreate this leg. Power hit you where you are. Pick him up. Let the power of the Holy Ghost completely heal this leg in the name of Jesus. Pick him up. Something will happen to you. Now in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Lord go through your legs. <laughs> Jesus name. Now get up. Move that leg. There will be no pain. Move it. Move your leg like this. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Come on. Ah, a miracle. A miracle. today. Sing it a miracle. Come on. Sing it, sing it, sing it, he love, he powerful, he love, sing it, he powerful, he love, 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 he Pastor, yes, 
You need to hear this. Hold it. You need to hear this. Sir, I'm a Samara Bonner. I cannot stand me again. <laughs> Hold it. Why, you were born a Samara before? Yes, sir. Is anybody who knows you here? Many people know me. You know me. him? Even my auntie. Somebody shouting yes. Your wife yes. is here? Is that who is here? His auntie. Your auntie is here? Yeah. Where are you? Auntie, come, come. Somebody who knows him, come. Ain't no one. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. When somebody is ill of stammering, he can't talk the way he used to talk before. So it's somebody who knows him that can mimic him because he's been healed. Come and mimic how he used to talk before. Now hold it, hold it. Because when somebody is ill of stammering, he cannot speak like that anymore. He mimic the way he used to talk before. That used to talk before? Now ask him, how are you? Give him a microphone. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Only you can do. <laughs> Only you can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you Pastor, the Holy Ghost is not done yet. This young man has been a stammerer since he was born, but he's completely made this up. small boy? Yes, Holy. sir. Small boy has been a stammerer? Yes, sir. How are you? Fine. Are the parents here? No. Where are your parents? At home. He's not talking like a stammerer. You're not giving Jesus a hand. Born stammerer. And when God heals a stammerer, he will never speak like before. No sign of stammering. Jesus is Lord. Uh, medical doctors, is there any drug for stammering? No, sir. <laughs> Amen. Doctor, yes, quickly, so we can hear. Yeah, Pastor, yes. she said she had a road traffic accident yes. five years ago. You maybe see the church. Now, as a result of that accident, she found it difficult to walk with this, her right leg. The right severe, one? Yes, sir. With severe pain. Whenever she tries to walk, she had this severe excruciating pain on that same right leg. But right in this service, no during pain. the administration, the pain is no gone. Pain. Move totally that right leg. No pain. No pain. Yes, sir. No pain. Give yes. Jesus a hand. You are clapping for yourself or you are clapping for Jesus. Pastor. Yes. What he does for one, he does for all. He also had an excruciating pain on this is on the right leg. And God healed him. And God healed him. Give him a big hand quickly. Pa Pastor. Yes. This time a chest pain. She hits her right shoulder over the door of a car. Two years ago, said since then she's been having this pain, which is worsened by deep inspiration. But right in this service, she was surprised that she could breathe for the first the time pain without having that pain. God she's give him a big hand, yes. Pastor, yes. you gave a word of knowledge concerning someone who had blocked nose trees. This lady had blocked nose trees and also itching in her throat. But after the word of knowledge came, Your nose, is open. The nose tree has been popped give open. Give Jesus a hand. Pastor, as God is doing for one, he's doing for all. He's a visitor. He came with the visitors. He had also had a blocked nostril. He says for 17 years. For he has 17 never years. Had Holy, this is your first time of coming here. He has never had you both nostrils open for 17 years. For 17 years, years two cannot open at the same time? One. One will only open part time. Yes, sir. Can you, the two open now? Yes, sir. They are free now. now. Hold it, hold it. You are not getting a miracle. For 17 years, he cannot breathe with the two at the same time. One open, one closes. Yes, exactly. This is the first time the two are open. Yes, you sir, are giving Jesus a hand. Amen. Are you clapping for yourself? Now hear me. In the world, people are used to where they go to, they do like Shh. So when it's so simple, they say, is that that simple? I read the Bible and I saw Jesus. Looked at a man and said, take your bed. And go. He didn't shout. So as simple as the healing, people are wondering, is that so? Because you are going to a place where they will flog you, take water, bait you, and <laughs> yeah, the sickness will not go. So you are used to that suffering time. Jesus does not need to go through protocols. I am not the healer. I'm not the one doing it. He's the one healing. So it's very simple. It's very what? If it's not simple, then it's not God. If it's complex, then watch where it is coming from. If it is God, it has to be simple. Give him a big hand. Yes. Papa, doctor. You were very specific. You said there is a visitor 
who had pain at the back and you pointed the exact spot. But yes. this is her first time in salvation ministries and she came in with that pain. But after you gave that word of knowledge, the pain completely disappeared. No pain. Give it's Jesus a shout. <laughs> Lady, God loves you. Yes, sir. Oh, give yes, him sir. a hand. He loves you. Yes, doctor. Papa, what caused her shame before this service has been rolled away? This young lady had a female genital tract infection. Papa, as a result, she had terrible itching and discharge. She said she avoided public places because people would stare at her and laugh at her. But while you were ministering, the discharge stopped, the itching vanished. Well, look at Jesus. Jesus. That came a sound from heaven. <laughs> It's like a mighty rushing wind. It filled the house with sick and Papa. gave peace with it. There came a sound from heaven. It, it was like a mighty rushing wind. It fills my heart with singing and gives the peace within. Come to Water, there is some fast supply. There is a river that will never, never shall run dry. I said, I came a sign from heaven. It was like a mighty rushing wind. It fills my heart with singing and gives the peace within. Come to the water, there is a vast supply. There is a river that will never. Pastor, yes. Papa says for as long as he can remember, for a very long time, he had been completely deaf in the left ear. But right now, Holy the ear is in his eighties. Listen, it's in his eighties. Sano, so you are in your eighties. Yes, I have. You have, been, you have been deaf in one ear. I'm hearing with the left ear, which I was hearing before. As you were not hearing before. Uh, as with, with the left ear. Yes. And on Thursday last week. My doctor said he's going to use a machine. They hired a machine to open my ears. But I did not, because the price he mentioned was prohibitive. I couldn't. But now you it. can hear. Can you hear now? Now I, I can hear today. Give Jesus a hand. Ah! <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Are you clapping for who? If you're clapping for men, if you're clapping for Jesus, you can do better. Yes, just take them. Sorry. Pastor, you take, gave a word of knowledge about, about someone three. Yes. with lump in the breast. You for had two years, she had palpable mass in her breast. She could feel it then. But after the word of knowledge, she has been searching for it. It is no longer Pressing. there. It has disappeared no completely. Mass. No mass. No mass. Ain't no lump. You feel it. Doctor, you're a female doctor. Press her body. No mass. No one. No one. Give Jesus. You ain't clapping for the king of all kings. Amen. Medical issues are supposed to have a surgery. Not so. Medical is supposed to be a surgery. And she's, she's God, when God does anything for you, no scar. No matter the medical profession, there must be a sign that you open your body. But when Jesus touches you, there will be no scar. To him we give. Take two or three, let's see. Papa, question. Yes. what he does for one, he does for all. This lady also discovered she had multiple lumps in both breasts. And this is her first time of coming this to salvation. This is her first time of coming to. After the word of hey, knowledge hey, no. came forth, oh. she 
it was scheduled to see her doctor on Thursday, but supernaturally the mass has disappeared. The we don't give Jesus a shot. You know what? Lady, are you happy? I'm very happy, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. You don't need to see any doctor again. I go and thank God. The great physician has healed you. Amen. Amen. Pastor? Yes. You gave a word of knowledge concerning someone that had shoulder pain that could not move the hand. Last year, February precisely, he said he fought in his dreams. Since that time, he has not been able to move the shoulder, the right shoulder, and the wrist. But here in the service, <laughs> where, where are you God from? He... Where are you from? I'm from Opobos. <laughs> it was Satan is in every place, so there's no point. Else. And they don't see Satan in a microscope. Even if you go to the doctor, they say nothing. They don't see, have you seen where they see equations with microscope? Doctor will tell you nothing, but for him to fight the dream, my hand could not move. You should know where it came from. <laughs> Thank God for Jesus. You are free now? Give him a big hand. Please, just take one or two. Let's Pastor, go. Pastor, yes. For 25 years, in fact, 25 years ago, while playing football, he had a knee dislocation. Now, this knee dislocation made it impossible for him to sit for long without severe pain. But he said, right in this service, while the administration was going on, that he sat and stood up. There was no pain. No pain. pain totally 25 gone. years played gone. Years. Give Jesus a hand. Yes. Pa Papa, this lady said she has um, blocked nose and body pain, and she could not breathe good. But right here in this service, she got her healing. This young man has been having blocked nose for the past four years. He's been for breathing four years his mouth. With yes. only, and God heal you now, Joshua? Glory to God. I like your dress. Amen. Maybe you wonder where like this and come to church. <laughs> All of you will just look at me and forget. Wonder I think I should dress like him. I just come and say, praise the Lord. You will leave, you leave what I'm preaching. I'll be looking at my dressing. I love you, young man. How are you? You look good. You are free. Go and enjoy your life. God heal you. Go and enjoy your life. Pastor. Yes. There's a strange move of the Holy Spirit here. Yes. This young man is a pharmacist by profession. He said when he was five, he discovered that he had hemorrhoids. But right here in this service... Hemorrhoid service, is what you call pile. pile. He went to the convenience and he had checked himself and it's completely made Will up. Will you give Jesus? <laughs> hold it! Hold it! For him to be a pharmacist is in the medical field, so he knows himself. You're free now? Yes, From, sir. How old are you now? 31. So 31, 5, that for 26 years. You are clapping for who? Jesus come. All saints and power is broken.